Mary Matlin is a Republican political commentator. She's, of course, the wife of James Carville. And when she was on one of the Sunday shows this weekend talking about Putin's anti-gay laws, she said something that's generated some controversy. And I want to play it for you, and I have a somewhat different takeaway from most people about this. Let's listen. To be completely and utterly homophobic, to turn on the television and see Russian Orthodox priests, members of parliament speak in the most disgusting homophobic way possible uh, is completely dispiriting, highly influential, and completely sanctioned by the Kremlin. So he's, you know, one answer is what he says to broadcasters right on the edge of the Olympics, and there are some clemencies that came out as well. But this has had an enormous effect. Hard to believe, though, I think, Mary Madeline, that he'll actually go through with punishing people during the Olympics. They can't risk that. Yes, and can I just say, I'm so sick of sports and politics. This week, someone came out and said, I am not gay, and I know I'm going to get in trouble for this. But all of my gay friends think thinks he looks so buff in his shirtless publicity <laughs> photos. I'm just saying, why is he even talking about this? He has to talk about it. That was weird. So here they are talking about Vladimir Putin's anti-gay laws, which is ban even being pro-gay is banned. It's a it's a a gay propaganda law. So this show we do here, we wouldn't be allowed to do it in Russia. Any type of uh, speech in favor of gay people, in favor of gay rights, in favor of treating them equally, they can throw you in jail. Okay, and then with the, uh, the Olympics going to Soki, they try to say, like, D don't do any uh, protests in favor of gay rights, don't act up here. So, and now he's talking about it, and, you know, he's making himself look like more of a jackass, and he's saying more inflammatory anti-gay garbage. And what, did you hear her comment? She goes, well, all my gay friends think he looks buff without a shirt. Okay, where the fuck did that come from? Why is that relevant to the conversation? And how are you so stupid? So, of course, the main point everybody's making is, wow, she's dumb. But we already knew she was dumb. There's no question about that. We already know, know that she's, um, she's out of it, right? But here's, remember I said I got a slightly different takeaway on this? She's also high. Did you notice how slow she was talking and how weird she was, or her cadence was and how you know, out of it she seemed. Now, on Bill Maher's show, she was on Bill Maher's show uh, the two nights before, and it, Bill said, thank you for coming, I know you had a back problem, or something like that, or surgery, something like that. So there is no doubt in my mind that she's high on Vicodin or something, and of course she's a little goody-two-shoes prissy woman who's never done drugs in her life. She's probably like, oh, I feel wonderful. Oh, Vladimir Putin is so buff. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's going to clip that out and make a horrible gif or jif or however you say it.